Yo, yo, people, welcome back to Ron's Tech Hub. And in this one, I'm going to be speaking to you guys about the B Loader Pro. The previous video was about the B Loader. Now, this one is going to be the B Loader Pro. What makes this Pro is that they fixed a few of the issues with the previous one. For example, the Wi Fi kept dropping. So, what they've done here is they've added an Ethernet port. Now, I don't know the speed of this Ethernet port, but to be fair, it doesn't need to be crazy because, again, they're only grabbing the button presses from the controller or from whatever device you're using. So it doesn't need to be super fast. Another thing is added is the external power as the power it was getting from the console before on the previous device wasn't enough to drive both the B loader. And as you can see here, that's the Zim Apex. So they've added that as well. And another addition they've done is they've added a, a headphone jack. So you could plug your headphones in here. You could use your headphones and it would work perfectly fine. That was something that was not present on the previous device. So let's jump into the setup process again this might have changed since i did my video last year at some point first things first we're on the bloader website we're going to go to the download section from here we're going to have two options bloader pro download and bloader download now the bloader pro is the new one that's the one we're working on today so click on that one there we're going to have to scroll down and we're going to have two options that red one is a link as well and this one also is a link they are both exactly the same thing so i'm going to simply click on where it says download it now we're going to have a few issues here one of the issues is going to be that it's going to block this in google chrome if you have a different browser you should be okay you might be okay the way we fix this issue is you open a new tab on google chrome you go to the very top right hand corner where it says uh, where it has those three dots is customize click on that go down to settings and from there in the top um, search bar for settings i'm going to type security s-e-c-u-r-i-t-y the option you're going to want is the one that says safe browsing and protection from dangerous sites. Click on that one. Scroll down and you're going to click on where it says no protection. It's not recommended. So I'm going to do this, download the file. And then as soon as I download the file, I'm going to turn this back on. So I'm going to click on this to turn it off. And let's see if this works now. No, I have to go re-download the file. So I'm going to go back to the Beloader website. Click on download again. And let's see if that issue comes up again. No, I'm good to go as far as I'm aware. So let's wait for that to fully finish. Perfect. That's now fully finished. Now I'm going to turn this back on straight away. So I'm going to go back to standard protection straight away. And that's it. We're done. I'm going to go now to my downloads folder. Now, as you can see, I have the file there. I'm going to right click on the file and go to extract all. This one's on Windows 11. If you're on Windows 10, it looks slightly different, but it's the same thing. So instead of going to extract all uh, for Windows 10, this is the option that you will see. You still go to extract all, but it just looks slightly different. Click on extract all and then click on extract. A new folder is going to be created in the same location where this is. So I can actually go ahead and delete that one, but I'm going to leave it for now. Now, before I go any further, I've double clicked into, into that file. I'm going to go to Beloader Pro software first. I'm going to go to driver. So driver version 1.0 for B-Loader Pro. This is the same thing I did for the normal B-Loader. So I'm just going to make sure I have the driver installed before I plug my B-Loader in and before I open the B-Loader manager. Double click on that. And here we have the B-Loader driver version 1.0. I'm going to double click on the first file, the executable. Let's see what comes up. I have that blue window that says Windows protected your PC. I'm going to click on where it says more info. And from there, uh, the option run anyway comes up at the very bottom. I'm going to click on that. It's going to pop up with another dialog box or another dialog window saying, do you want to allow this app from an unknown publisher to make changes to your device? I'm going to select yes. And I'm going to select yes again. So whether to install the driver, if it fails, please temporarily exit the protection tool. Okay. Again, this just means that if your anti-malware software blocks this from being installed you simply turn off your anti-malware so it could be norton it could be windows defender it could be avg it could be kaspersky whatever it is turn it off temporarily install this and put it back on now if you are scared about doing this then don't do it because this could be installing malware on your pcs i don't think it is because i've used this many times before i haven't detected anything but i don't know for sure so i'm going to click yes it's going to do its installation process. I'm going to click next on this dialog window here. I'm going to click finish because it says it is now ready. Perfect. Click finish. 
then I'm going to go back to my original folder here. I go to Bloader Pro software again. This time I'm going to go down to Bloader Manager version 1.4. So that second folder there, double click on that. We have two folders here. So I'm going to go to Super Manager 1.4. Let's see what happens there. I'm going to double click on the executable file here. A dialog window came up. Do you want to allow this? Yes. I'm going to choose yes for me. And it says adapter not found. Weirdly enough, I finally managed to get um, the Bloader Super Manager working. I highly recommend people use the USB cable that came with the B Loader Pro. I just tried three different USB C cables one that came with my mobile phone, one that came with two other devices. I have a none of them worked, but the one that came with the B Loader Pro itself worked perfectly fine. And this was detected straight away. So I think that might be the issue that most people are having. I don't know why this would be the issue, but I'm guessing because they probably designed the cable themselves. They probably had certain tolerances there that made it. I, I genuinely don't know. So I'm just going to go to upgrade first. I'm going to select upgrade firmware. And now this, this is going to open a browse window. I'm going to go to downloads. I'm going to go to where I think it would be. So I'm going to click on that second one there. I'm going to click on update.bin. I probably have this one already. Yeah, I think it's the same version, but just showing you guys how to upgrade it anyway. I'm going to click on upgrade and wait for this to finish. The light on my B-Loader Pro is flashing red at the moment. So that tells me something is happening. Something's changed. When I plugged it in for the very first time and I held the button down, the light was like a bluish whitish color. So I'm guessing it's doing something. When this finishes, I'll continue. Perfect. Upgrade success confirmed. That's now done. I'm going to click on confirmed here. Oh, I didn't even need to click on anything. It did it by itself. Right. Next thing I'm going to do the configuration. So I'm going to click on where it says configuration here on the left. I'm going to click on the first link that says click here to set up your PSN account. This is going to open a web browser thing. I'm going to simply log in with my details. It's going to do a redirect page. And then all I need to do is to copy that thing. So I have two factor authentication on my account. This is something I highly recommend for everyone, by the way. So I need to put in a separate code. So let me do that now. The redirect has come up. The next thing is simply to click in the URL. It's going to get highlighted or if that doesn't work, just highlight the entire thing. I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to select copy. I'm going to go back to my B-Loader manager, which is here. And all I have to do is to click here after successful copy and it's going to automatically enter the ID. Now, unlike the original B-Loader, I actually don't need to enter any Wi-Fi details because the B-Loader Pro doesn't use Wi-Fi. The B-Loader Pro uses Ethernet. So all I need to do at this stage is to go to settings on my PlayStation 5, go to remote play, enable remote play and link device. So settings, I go to system, I go to remote play, make sure remote play is turned on and I link device. Now that eight digit code that you see when you go to that location, that's what you type into that very last box at the bottom. So I'm going to type mine in now. I'm going to click save here. It's going to say uh, configuration save successfully. It's going to kick me out of this, I believe. So let's wait. Yep. Perfect. Now all I need to do is I'm going to unplug my B loader from my laptop. It's a sound you just heard. I'm going to now plug my B loader into my PlayStation 5 directly. So that same USB port I unplugged from my laptop, I'm going to plug it into my PS5. Now, please keep in mind, you have roughly three minutes to enter the code and save everything and plug it into your PS5. Otherwise, that code will refresh and you won't be able to use the same one again. 